nice one coming off there. Oh, he's quite a decent driver. And there's not too many electronics in these ones, that's for sure. Uh, it takes over very quietly anyway. Now here we have a Ferguson 35. It's uh, most likely petrol, I see. We have spark plugs there anyway. And it's uh, in a gold colour as well. Very nice, well done out. And I'll just check out the number. It's XYC47. So it's uh, looking good. Right, I'm just going to take a walk down the line here, then we'll, we'll head away somewhere else. <laughs> we'll be here quite a while. It's Ben Cotton Hunter Club in Dodgeton Ring 1. This is our final call for any remaining petrol for class 201. No, this Working Hunter Horse, Maribel, 4 years old, Dover. Final call today. Uh, Turner Diesel, but what sort of tractor it is, I've no idea. It's quite unusual anyway, very unusual to see one like this. It's most likely American or right. ever. Turn, Turner was the gearbox manufacturers. Right. All the lorry men will, will, will speak about Turner gearboxes. David Brown. They made, they made truck gearboxes as well. Right, right. And I, I, don't, I don't know who copied who. Maybe David Brown's the oldest one in gears. Mm. But there was only two and a half thousand of these ones made. Well, I don't think I've ever seen one before. Right. Oh, they're thin on the ground. Uh huh. I, I, I don't know if I've actually I've seen another one for real. Right. To be honest. No, I don't think I have. I've only seen pictures. Uh -huh. There is a club, but I've, I've never really bothered with it. Right, right. I have no idea how many there is in that club. I saw three in bits and pieces that came back from Australia uh -huh. on the back of a lorry. Right. In the borders one day. So are they made in the UK or? Oh, or yes, I'm Wolverhampton. Definitely. Wolverhampton? Uh, yes, right. Uh -huh. Oh, probably I can find some history on them somewhere. Oh, they're very British. Uh -huh. Whatever. It's a TH 4335 and it's supplied by Ricker Bay and it has a loader on it there. Iceke. Iceke. No idea. I <laughs> uh, can't get things right all the time, although I do try. Uh, there's my assistant, uh, Jay Burns, Farmer Pro Jay. Having a look as well. Uh, quite a nice colour of blue, <laughs> if that's what you like anyway. Let's start again. We have a cane trailer, a 6290 Massey Ferguson power control, a Red Rock uh, 2050 slurry tanker, and that's just a, a side uh, gun discharger there. I have never never ever filmed a uh, GTR contract uh, at silage. Possibly someday soon, who knows. So we're not actually sure if it's brand new or it's actually been used. Hard to say. Anyway, it's on a 15 plate. Uh, it's a Atos 340 that one. Just gonna have a quick look around here and I'll take some photographs after I've named and shamed. And just the all usual, you can't see what they are, it's a loader zone. But so this is a a class Aryan 440 with a loader. And here we have AK Farm Services. New class 650. I thought it'd been a bigger one than that. It's got the special low profile tyres on, got the weights on as well. So it's some beast.
the price is just a 650 yeah rather than the 820 uh, as I say I'm just going to do a, a little bit of commentary very very windy so it's not so good but uh, I'll take some photographs which should be better uh, it's a class 6030 Scorpion and uh, don't know if it's sold or not it has been sold but uh, obviously the we don't know who it is. Uh, it's another one. It's been sold in the front there. I'll go and have a see what kind it is. Uh, it's a 340 Axos, and it's sold to Klondike Farms. Sean Castle. Uh, I have never seen this one before. It's uh, Southwest ARB, whatever that stands for. It's a Valmet 8000. Obviously forestry and it also has a trailer behind it here uh, and a sort of high ab for lifting the trees on I quite like the blue the Valmet it's a Valmet this one not a Valtra and it's on a L plate L272 PYA <laughs> Look at the bar in the back of there, Jay. Yeah. Big pump there for the all the hydraulics in the yeah, back here. The uh, Cam Engineering, it's the Valtra dealership. I actually film a lot of these Valtras when I'm out and about. Good tractors. Uh, it's a, a Jay just said a N101 Valtra. Quite a nice colour, nice to see people working there. So it is. So it's PX15HZJ and I'm, I'm sure it'll be available for sale. Right. Jay's going to tell us what this is. It's a Valtra. T174. It's a T174 and it's uh, probably the first one we've ever seen. Well, it is the first one we've ever seen. I think it's one of the new range and it's uh, wouldn't like to see how much it would cost but quite a bit of money would imagine but probably worth it now here's Cowan's tractor I filmed this one with the chipper before it's a 828 on a 64 plate absolutely brilliant uh, That's what I was gonna ask the car's built in sand here a 7618 for sale and that's some other MFs there in the fence at the far end 828. Hi, I'm now at the Lloyd stand. The tractor with the sprayer on. It's a T7.235 on a 15 plate. Just, just pull the camera in there. So, we have some other tractors here. That's a, one of the smaller range there. And I'll check out the one with the slurry cut in the back there. So it seems like they've got uh, Robert Little and Son, one of the diggers at the back there, and uh, another one here. Cochrane, not sure how you pronounce that. And here we have a T4.105. One of the smaller tractors in the range. We'll just turn around here. And this is a T6 140, the loader. So we're just having to walk and talk. Uh, time's getting on. But uh, doing the best we can. Uh, just a small digger there. And here we have a and that's what we have. It's a MLA 630 stroke 125 PS. Uh, it's a uh, shear grab there. New rock. And it's on the money too here. Now uh, we're now on the JCB stand as per usual every year. They have uh, quite a few diggers at the Dumfries Show. Robson's AMD. It's uh, 
in the background there. So it's <laughs> that's like a big wheelbarrow that one. Now here we have one of the new fast track GCB and it's a 4220. It's the first time I've seen one of these, must be fairly new uh, on the market. Now here we have a, a GTR contract. Uh, you couldn't find it? No. Oh. Anyway, not to worry. It's, uh, we'll need to move on. Time's getting on. So it is. I will now on the Dalgleish stand. Here we have the McHale B640. You see the straw? You see the straw for? <laughs> oh, here we have someone else. Uh, God knows what they're doing. We're at the John Deere stand, possibly the last uh, thing before we head home. It's a 6150M. I don't know the difference between an M and an R. I know it's different, but I don't know the difference in these tractors. A 6125R, this one. In the background, we have the John Deere. 5100M and a John Deere baler F440M so I'm just gonna the actual range came on so we're quite lucky we're nearly finished so we've done fairly well haven't we Jay? Yep. done alright? Yep. Well, never seen one of those before Ozark Good on my nose. Suzuki Ozark. The Cavernland uh, fertilizer spreader there. And a John Deere Gator that's. Uh, uh -huh. And a wee John Deere mower here for the lawn. Uh, we didn't have the tartan many yesterday, but it's here now. I need to get some photographs of this one. A Suzuki, I can see that one okay. King Quad, Johnson Tractor demo. And here we have a Caverland mower conditioner. It's a Caverland Tarap 3232MN. And here we have a, another Caverland 5 for a reversible plough. It's uh, another Johnson machine here. And also another Caverland uh, one pass machine. Don't actually see too many of the Caverlands when I'm out and about filming. But there must be some. My assistant tells me it's a T191. It's Southwest Firewood Contracting. If, uh, the tractor sold by camengineering.net down at Castle Douglas here. Uh, so this is pretty much the same as uh, what Cohen is doing. The biomass uh, that I filmed recently with the Fent 828. It uh, chips the wood there. This is a uh, Kincaid contract in Big X 700. I filmed it a few times now, but uh, <laughs> probably this is a the closest I've actually been. It's probably been out working yesterday, I would imagine. It was dry yesterday. So it's uh, it's on a 64 plate. Aye, uh, so there's lots of men getting them ready for the show tomorrow. Uh, it's not very often you see all these cars guys working as hard. So it's not. Anyway. I'll take this lad home and head away home myself. We've done well, haven't we, Jay? Yep. Good, good man.